Yo, what is up, YouTube? I heard you want to know about the Shreen Helium Amplifier. Is it worth it? Um, does it work? What comes with it? How do I use it? These are all things we're going to answer today in today's episode of the Helium Project. Stay tuned. Shireen uh, Helium Amplifier. Okay. And uh, this is an indoor amplifier. Okay. And there's something really important about this amplifier that I want to highlight. And that is, this is only a receiving amplifier, 15 dB. Okay. It is not a TX amplifier. It is bypassed. Okay. So, um, I know that's, if you don't know what that means, then I'll show you. Okay. So RX is receiving, meaning listening power. Okay. So if you're trying to increase the amount of witnesses that you're, um, that you're getting, then this can help with that. Okay. Transmitting power is what you're telling other hotspots or how you're connect, you're connecting a beacon to other hotspots. And the way that you can determine if this is the amplifier for you or not, Helium Explorer, and we're already at 700,000 hotspots, which is wild, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's find a hotspot. We'll just go to the latest hotspots, right? Well, it doesn't really help because these guys probably haven't beaconed. So I'll just scroll down here, see if I can get any random hotspot here. Uh, let's just go here then. Let's do, let's do this. Uh, I live in Southern California, so let's do Los Angeles. As you can see, this is very saturated. 57 hotspots in this one single hex. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so let's go. Look at these transmit scales. Super, super low. Anyway, so let's pick up some random hotspot here. Let's do Fun Chambery Duck. Sorry. Whoever owns this hotspot. It's not mine. Oh, this is an offline hotspot. Okay, let's try something else here. So let's go to spicy obsidian kestrel. If it'll come up here. Okay, so this guy has a sense cap, not using a 9 dB antenna. He actually has really good witness, 76 witnesses. Look at the activity here. Or um, what we what we came here for was. Uh, we we're trying to look for a beacon to see if this amplifier is for you. So we'll go down. We'll try to find a beacon here. This guy hasn't beaconed in a while. Let's just go to beacons then. Here we go. So this particular individual had broadcast the beacon three days ago, and he got 14 witnesses on that beacon. 14 is the maximum amount of witnesses that you can have for a beacon, right? So he is being heard by other hotspots fine, right? So he doesn't need transmitting power. And this amplifier doesn't provide any transmitting power. So it might be worth it for him to use this amplifier so that he can connect and witness even more than he is today. See, every time he gets 14, every time he beacons, he gets 14. And you should check your setup and your specific helium hotspot to see um, if that's the case. 
Okay, so this particular setup that we're doing today um, gets normally 14, um, 14 uh, witnesses to their beacon. And so we're just trying to connect to more on the receiving end. And so that's why we're using this, uh, this amplifier. This amplifier is pretty pricey and it might not be worth it. So let's see how well we do and I'll let you know. As you can see, I'm up here in my attic and I'm just installing this McGill 7.5 DBI antenna. To... So here we have the Shreen Helium amplifier. This is the indoor amplifier comes with a power supply, so you no need for a bias T. And um, I'll kind of tell you how it works here um, in the coming days after we do some testing. But essentially, it comes with the amplifier, and it comes with the, vol uh, the voltage supply or the power supply. And you connect it directly to the antenna and then directly to the radio. No need for filtering as it comes with a filter, and we'll see and I'll let you know how it goes.